Hi, this is Jeremy with Epic Sky Technology, and we're going to walk you through getting the demo pad app and the Epic software installed on it. So, uh, the first thing we need to do is get the demo pad app. So, we go to the App Store here with our iPad, and if we search uh, demo pad, and uh, we want this guy here, which is Demo Control HD. I'm going to take a few screenshots during this. And uh, I already had purchased this item, so I'm just going to click here to download it. So it will go ahead and download. And when it's done downloading here, I'm going to go back out to the, the demo pad control. I'm just going to zip this on the on the dock here for just to, so we're all on the same page here. Now, before I open the demo pad app, we're going to go to our system settings, which is here, and then we're going to go all the way down to demo pad control, and uh, we're going to go to project setup. So when we go to Project Setup, we're going to reload uh, the sounds and the images next time in the actual file, and then we're going to change the place of where this file is located. We're going to get the Epic uh, software in here, so we're going to go to Impact, Download, .com, and then slash Epic. And then for the project name, we're simply going to change that to Epic. Let me take another screenshot of that guy. And then uh, we want to come back here. We want to disable Pinch to Zoom. We make these templates uh, the exact size of the screen of the iPad, so there's no reason to, to zoom uh, in around. Everything is native to the, to the screen size itself. And so um, that's pretty much it for that. And so we're going to go back out here. We're going to open demo pad and this is where it's going to pull down the software from impact download for the first time and so what this guy will do is it'll go bring that template down from the internet and then load it into the ipad itself now once this gets finished here we have the template up and so uh we're good now here we have you know all the the template and whatnot we're going to go back out we're going to go back into the settings and then we're going to go to our project setup and we're going to say we already have it so we don't need to reload it next time so let, let's go back there and then also uh, what we want to do is remember the last page and then we can turn on multitasking. That way uh, when you open demo pad it does not restart every time. Uh, we can see we, we opened it here now and then if we go back out and we open it again it'll just go right back into it. It'll also remember all your zones and, and everything and all the flags in the software. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.